That means I'm in winner's finals, and I'm going to play the winner of this. Guys, uh, Dizzy, Blue King, is taking a break tonight to record the um, Avoiding the Puddle podcast with Eris, so check that out. PPJ is also taking a break this week. I'm pretty sure he'll be back next week. I do remember that. That's super messed up, but yes. I do remember wearing that emergency blanket like a cape. All right, so now we're going to have um, Jeremiah versus Max. Now, I haven't been following this little rivalry. I'm not sure who wins them. Who wins the most between you guys? Max is up one. Thank you, Mindset. No, I'm good, thanks. You have plenty. I have an announcement from my dad, John Brownback, in Springfield, Illinois, guys. I am the cousin of race car driver David Brownback. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Now, this is an interesting match after the patch because now Shinnok has his own 50-50, and more importantly, he can make his footsie safe, actually advantage, by using that meter burn skulls. Before, I'm guessing this is a very, very difficult match for Shinnok, but it's got to be much, much more bearable now. I don't know who wins or loses. I'm just saying it's got to be easier. This is winners. This is for the last spot in the winners' finals. All right, Jeremiah's going to get big corner damage here. Oh, big corner carry. Cassie's corner game is so strong. You know, obviously, strong corner games is a reoccurring theme of the game, but... All right, down four skulls. Max really likes the down four skulls. Shinnok's down four is very good. It's fast, has a lot of range. It goes very, very low. And skulls, a lot of times, if people aren't ready for it, they get hit by it. It's not a combo, but it's one of those things where if you're not sitting there looking for it, you're going to get hit. So Max taking round one very, very close, though. Jeremiah getting a little bit... Jeremiah's not going to be using Spec Ops. He's going to use Brawler this week, I guess. He's Jeremiah's a big fan of Brawler, and Jeremiah's the kind of guy that just... He just plays for fun. Like, it's not... He's like, Brawler, I have fun using it. I'm going to use it this week. Meter burn throw. Oh, I think that was an accident. Skulls. All right. Got caged. Blanche is in play. Oh, no. Blanche is no longer in play. We will not be seeing the Blanche Alady tonight. Meter burn amulet. That's advantage. Ooh, he goes for the 4 3. Or back 3. Back 3, whatever the input is. All right, Jeremiah breaking. He did not want to take that guessing game. It's a very, very deadly guessing game. Shinnok doesn't have the best zoning. He doesn't have the best footsies. But when he hits that soul power, you got to guess. And Max definitely in control here. Interesting. Get some chip. Use the magic guns. Oh, we went for some chip. It didn't pay off. Well, Jeremiah could make a huge... Oh, my God. That could be a critical error. Oh, Max. Oh... Oh my goodness! No, no, no! Max clutches it out. Out plus. I think it's plus 17, 15. Apparently 14. It's something like that. I made an effort not to pay much attention to frame data this game. It's a, it's an experiment. Yeah, I'm playing it. I'm playing old school. Like I'm like Vi and Watson. All right, Max probably tried to backdash or armor and drop the input there after that back one in between the four. Really close game. Ooh. Jeremiah, I think Jeremiah was looking for it, but he just didn't react quite fast enough. Max, really good at that teleport. Ooh, really good whip punishing. Max still has those Injustice fundamentals. The footsies was definitely Max's strong point in Injustice is Bane. As much as I love to blow up Bane, as much as I love to say LOL armor and all that, Max's footsies are what set him apart. Max's footsies and spacing were what made him very good. And he does the same thing here with those skulls. He, he saw the back one whiffed. Got a big punish here. Alright, he's going to try to keep Jeremiah out. Interesting. Switches sides. Doesn't get the combo, but will switch sides. Oof. He just barely blocked that in time. Now Jeremiah's going to win the round. Oh, no. He drops the combo. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone relax. You can breathe a sigh of relief. Round two. Fight. 
Yeah, we, so far in this month one, we've seen so many close sets locally and at majors. Combo Breaker set a new record for close games. I thought, honestly, I thought the level of play at Combo Breaker was was excellent. Yeah, I, I thought the top the top 32 was great. A lot of pools mentions that top eight though. It was it was a, a joy to watch. I absolutely had a blast. I thought I thought the top four, I thought Rio, Alucard, uh, Dizzy, and Fox were just on another level that day. They deserve to be the top four in my opinion. Like. They were beyond, I mean, those are those are guys playing top tier. Not Alucard, but, you know, Rio, Fox, and Dizzy. Those are guys playing top tier. Make no bones about it. All three would tell you that. But the level of play was just so beyond what you normally see. With, you know, it's not just top tier. Anyway, Jeremiah, it's going to tie it up one-to-one. -one. Oh, no. Oh, that's nasty. You know it. Yeah, that is actually canon. That's what happens in the story. You know it. All right, one-to-one. -one. From the page of Cage, one of them will go on to fight Katana in the winner's finals. All right, it's lucky we had that there, not in the match. What? I don't know. I do know that we have announced that Tanya will be available for combat pack owners June 2nd. That is Tuesday. With the MK1 Classic costumes, which are, I think, Kano's and Sonya's. Sonya's is hilarious to me. That 90s gym workout gear, but with modern graphics, it's awesome. Yeah. Kano's is cool. I like his shaved head. Yeah. And, and they announced today on Twitter that the combat cast will have, so or not Sonya, Tanya gameplay. The debut of Tanya gameplay on Monday. So check out Tyler and Derek playing Tanya. Obviously, I can't talk about Tanya. I can't spoil anything. All I can say is, just simply, she's awesome. She is awesome. I can't wait for her. Obviously, I'm a fan of the female ninja characters. They're my favorite archetype. Nailed it. They... That's a great argument. Kyle and I had that argument. Is Tanya a female ninja? Let me point something out. She's never worn a mask, but she does wear the female ninja leotard. And... And in Armageddon, Chameleon has one move from each female ninja. She has a Tanya move. So I would say that puts Tanya in as an official female ninja. All right, Jeremiah up one round. A very dominant round. Yeah, female chameleons with a K. The awesome chameleon. She was only in the Wii version. And then she was in the N64 version of Trilogy. Oh, big jump over from Jeremiah. That's going to be a huge momentum lead. Oh, man, Max just guessing wrong. Oh, that was not a wise breaker. Max looking frustrated here. He's got to keep it together. Oh, no. Max wants to stay in winners here. He's got to recover. Oh, everyone's dropping. All right, all right, Max is back. Max is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Max is back, Max is back, Max is back. Do, do, do. All right, we're going on the last round. Just like the other winners, semis match, we're going on. Oh, big early guess from Max. He jumps out. Oh, he puts himself in the corner. But, oh, man, this is going to be a huge combo from Jeremiah. Ugh. Oh! Oh, goes for the big chip there. He knows he has a huge lead here. He can hide on. Max needs to make a big comeback here. He goes in. He's got to hit Jeremiah right now. He's got to make something happen. Meter burns it. Oh, Jeremiah let go of block. Here we go. A precarious press. Oh, he just goes for pressure, though. Big chip. Wow, it's anyone's game right now. Jeremiah misses a jump in opportunity. Good block. Chip opportunity. Max going in. Jeremiah can break. Max is in. Max is in a position where Jeremiah will be able to break. But one or two throw, a throw, and maybe a down four would be enough here. These, this is as close as it gets, guys. Neutral jump punch. No, he didn't let Jeremiah clash. Smart stuff. No, Jeremiah. Oh, oh, so close. One of my favorite sounds in the game is in story mode when Cassie beats Shinnok and she goes, Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Death to 
to all. And that means for the first time, a long-standing tradition is back. 